right, now what? You add them. And we just add them. Okay, so what are going to be the starting materials for the overall reaction now? Yeah, again, we want to double check to make sure we're not leaving anything out. Okay, is this what you guys got? Yep. All right. And you switch the, or you, you add in OH in the cancel. Um, Let's cancel first. Yeah, how, what, what can we cancel? Electron. Yeah, in fact, we didn't even bother writing the electrons. We knew the electrons would cancel. But if you wrote them down, you could write that the six electrons on the left cancel the six electrons on the right. And waters? Yeah. So, yeah, what, what, what does that leave us with water wise? Two on the left. Yeah, we're, so in this case, we, um, we're canceling the waters already because there were waters in both of the half reactions. So now we're left with just two waters on the left because we cancel that with the four waters on the right. Any other cancellations we can make? The H plus is also cancel here. So what does that leave us with? Four on the right. Yeah, so this, this is more cancellations than we had before. The eight H plus is here. Cancel with this and leave us four H pluses on the right. Basically what you're doing is, remember you can do the same thing to both sides. Well, we could subtract eight H pluses from here if we subtract eight H pluses from here. Um, so that leaves us with four over here. It's like doing algebra. Good. And then... You left your electron. Oh, I said I was going to leave them out. All right. So now I'll get rid of those because those canceled the six electrons on the left. Thank you. So now, since it's basic, we can add um, OH minus two. Yeah. How many do we add? Four. Yeah, because we need to cancel these. got to get rid of all the protons because those would only exist in acidic solution. They wouldn't exist in basic solution. So we have to cancel out every single proton. Well, to cancel one proton, we take one hydroxide. So to cancel four protons takes four hydroxides. So what does that leave us on the right-hand side? Yeah, the whole point of this is that these are going to form waters. Did you forget OH minus? Just wanted to make sure you were remembering that. OK, oh. yeah. Or maybe I forgot. I don't want to admit. All right, so again, legally, if we add four hydroxides to the right, we've got to add four hydroxides on the left. So these don't change. So I mean, well, well, I didn't leave myself room for that. That tends to indicate that maybe I forgot. Yeah. All right, so I got to add the four hydroxides. On the left, good. We can cancel water. And again, now we cancel water again. Uh, what does that leave us with? Two on the right. We can subtract two waters from the left and two waters from the right. 
All right, now I think we're done. Although now again, it would be good to check that all the elements balance and all the charges balance. For example, two manganeses on the left, two manganeses on the right. Uh, what's our total charge here on the left? Negative two minus six is negative eight, minus four is negative 12. And this is a negative 12 charge on the right-hand side as well. So it looks like two things are balancing, but you want to check everything. All right, this one was a little bit more complicated than the previous one, but it's the same basic method. All right, um, and here are these key steps that have to be done in the right order. Here's how you balance things in the half reactions. In the half reactions, first you balance the elements that are not oxygens and hydrogens. Then you balance the oxygens using water. Then you balance the, the hydrogens using protons. We still do that even if we wanted to do basic solution because we treat it like acidic solution and we just make the correction at the end. Uh, and then you balance the electrons last. All right, and once you've done that, you're ready to uh, multiply to make sure that both equations have the same number of electrons and add things together. And then at the end here, we saw that there are oftentimes after you add the two half reactions together, there's lots of opportunities for canceling waters and protons from both sides. Okay, so um, we won't do any more of these balancing half reactions, but you should definitely practice some more, because you can see it takes practice to avoid the, the mistakes.